Nearly everyone can agree that Nacho Varga is an incredibly complex character in the Breaking Bad universe. And his final sacrifice in season six cemented him as an absolute legend who took control of his fate despite going up against the cartel and Gustavo Fring. But one question I had was why exactly he joined the cartel. So I ended up asking Michael Mando on his Reddit AMA, and I'll go over what he said. Before the events of Better Call Saul, Nacho's family was close with Domingo Molina's family. However, in Breaking Bad, it's mentioned that Crazy Eight was thinking about studying music prior to his drug dealing aspirations, but was convinced not to by his dad. So I'm guessing that it was Nacho that brought him into the drug trade and not the other way around. Growing up in ABQ, Nacho probably had some bad influences around, like Tuco Salamanca. But at the same time, Michael Mando suggests that Nacho's home life played a part in his decision too. According to Mando, something must have happened between his parents that left him hurt and empty, that maybe during that period, he made the bad decision to join the cartel. I gotta say, I never really noticed it until Michael brought it up. But the absence of his mother is a pretty big deal. We never see pictures or hear about her, which suggests that she may have died or left the family when Nacho was young. Obviously, the loss of a parent can be an insanely traumatic experience, and it's likely that Nacho struggled to cope with the loss. This may have made him even more vulnerable to the allure of his cartel associates. Nacho's father also clearly is aware of the Salamancas, and as an honest businessman, heavily disapproves of their influence on his son. His father's dream was for Nacho to eventually inherit the shop, so it's not like his father disapproved of him. But at the same time, perhaps he felt pressured by his father's expectations and wanted to forge his own path. While we still don't really know for sure, it's fun to theorize. And hey, maybe if the team decides to revisit our favorite TV universe, we'll get some more answers. What do you guys think about Nacho's backstory and what Michael Mando had in mind? Let us know in the comments and see you next time.